just arrived back in Boston and I wanted to quickly do a haul of what I got in London before I go shower and clean myself up and get ready for Monday tomorrow. <laughs> so the first thing, I have two London newspapers right before you get on the aircraft. They just have like, here there are five different newspapers you can choose from. And I was like, oh my god, because not only are they free, there's so many pages, and um, I was too busy on the plane watching some movies, so I didn't get to read them, but I'm going to read these from cover to cover. Okay, um, I don't know, should I start with the food or should I start with the beauty? I think I'll start with the food. First one, these are snap pea rice sticks in three different flavors. There's lightly salted soy and balsamic vinegar and sweet chili and lemon. I actually had one of the lightly salted one and I like it. Um, they do have an American brand of it that like, if I go to Costco, I get the big bag. They don't taste exactly just like it. They do taste, um, I don't know, even like ricier. They taste ricier. But yeah, I have a curly whirly. Well, I got two, but I already ate one. It's, it's like, chocolate wrapped around caramel but it's super thin and it's not like a stick like if you think of this it's probably just curly whirly designs in here um it's really good and Brit's recommendation is to put this in the fridge and then eat it slowly um so i'm gonna do that i also had a recommendation to get their quaker oats golden syrup that's not a flavor that's available in america and so I was like, well, I don't think apple and blueberry is available in America too, so I'm just going to get the variety pack. I actually got two. I haven't seen these before. Aero Bubbles. They just look really cute. I hope they don't taste super soda to me because I'm not a huge soda person. And I got this, mainly because the bag is cute. Super Sour Mango and Apple Yo-Yo Bear. All right, I like the packaging. In it, there's like two of these guys. Ooh! Oh, just a simple squeeze of lemon makes our yo-yos zing! I also got their claws bear version. So this is black currant and beetroot. Now to the makeup stuff. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. Mm. It's some real zing, man. So this is like the skincare bag, a local London brand called Neil's Yard Remedies. And I got the Wild Rose Beauty Balm, Rose Sauvage, and it's for all skin types. A radiance boosting one pot wonder can be used as a cleanser, refiner, and deeply nourishing moisturizer or mask. Organic wild rose hip seed oil is one of the richest natural sources of vitamins, fatty acids, and antioxidants. So let me show you this. Like, it's a beautiful packaging. It's that. It only has a faint, faint smell, which I prefer for, like, anything beauty, skincare related. I'm not a fan of, like, pow, scent. Inside, there's also this muslin cloth. And so you can put this on, and then once you massage it into your skin, you can use this to wipe it off. And why muslin cloth is because it's more gentle on your skin. Muslin cloth is the type of cloth you would use for a newborn baby because um, the normal towels that we use are too rough for their skin. And so a lot of people have been starting to use this for their face instead because, you know, it's not something that's just limited for babies. This I got from Boots, which is their version of CVS. Uh, this is the Refreshing Cucumber face mask and it's a peel off one and then I got this one <laughs> it's in Japanese so I can't really understand what they're saying but just look at the picture it looks a little bit terrifying I have four masks so Daiso is like the Japanese version of 99 cent store and they just started coming out with their own beauty products I have camellia oil and black pearl version and it, it says it's on Japanese cotton which is super super soft and then Pokemon has a collaboration with Tony Moly which is a Korean skincare brand I got the Squirtle which is hydrating and I got uh, uh, is this 
Charmander? Charmander, that is brightening. Only face mask I bought, guys, I promise. And then this one is from OK Peeling Foot Mask. Oh. There's socks in here? Oh, there are socks in here. Alright, alright. We'll have to check this out. And I got this one, which is um, from Superdrug, which is, I don't know, like their version of Walgreens. Um, fruit sorbet antioxidant peel off mask revitalizes and helps protect skin ideal for all skin types so I bought two things from the store called DCM which is originally from Canada they opened up a store in London and I think they have ones in New York I'm not totally positive under DCM there's like a whole bunch of different brands and one of them is the ordinary this one is called the buff fit it's a multi ah, technology peptide serum. I will say though, this lady that was helping me out, she's a little bitchy. Like, I don't know what's going on. what happened. It feels super soft, super smooth. It just softened and brightened my skin. I don't know if you can tell, but I can tell the difference. And then this one is the multifunctional brightening formula. You can consider this like a moisturizer. I will say I I was reading their entire website before I went to the store to understand what all these different products were and it's really hard to understand because it's like this one is a serum with a 10% something and this one's a serum with a 15% something and you're like um come again so that's what I got from The Ordinary I'm super excited about this thing that I bought it's from Liz Earl I was in this huge boots. I was walking around and all of a sudden I see Liz Earl and I was like, Liz Earl, is that the Liz Earl? I got the daily essentials kit in the skin normal combination skin. So they have this same kit with the exact same products, but for different skin types. At Liz Earl, we pride ourselves on harnessing the potent power of botanicals to create luxurious yet genuinely effective products that deliver outstanding results for all skin types and ages. <sighs> Founded in 1995 on the idyllic Isle of Wight, our award-winning naturally active range of botanical beauty helps you to feel your very best and enjoy radiantly healthy looking skin. We are passionate about giving you first class service and bespoke beauty advice and hope you continue to discover the difference that is Liz Earl. So it comes with two muslin cloths, which is what I just told you about. This is the product that I first heard about and really wanted to try. It is the Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. It has rosemary, chamomile, cocoa butter, and eucalyptus essential oils. It cleanses and gently exfoliates for smoother, clearer skin. You put this on and you ma massage it into your skin. And then you take this, one of the cloths, right? And pan hot water, so lukewarm water, maybe a little tougher than lukewarm when you start wiping your face you divide it into four sections for each section you do like a different part of your face and I actually tried this product out while I was in London absolutely love it it was so amazing took off everything and I didn't even have to like scrub really hard I just went like one section I did on one cheek and like that side and then this section the next section I did this and then I did the top and my nose and then I did my neck we also have the skin tonic aloe vera cucumber rose scented geranium and natural source vitamin E this revitalizes soothes and tones for radiant looking skin I don't know why I'm smelling it because I've also used this already it smells really good it's super soft and it doesn't sting at all next one Skin Repair Moisturizer, um, in, oh this has avocado oil in it, intensely moisturizes, smooths, and protects. Oh, I didn't open it, that's why. Gentle Face Exfoliator, it has eucalyptus, cocoa butter, and fine ho hojoba beads, gently buffs away dead skin cells and impurities. I think we are at the makeup section of this video. So before I saw Liz Earl, I was at this store called Kiko Milano, and it's an Italian brand and I was just in there I was smelling everything shine refined tonic sebum 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 balancing toner combination to oily skin um, I also tried it on my face also does not have a stinging effect which I totally appreciate now we're into the makeup stuff and I'm just gonna start with the makeup stuff I bought from Kiko Milani okay so the first one is 
variation in the color WB10. I don't have anything on my face right now. It blends in really well with the skin and it's super light. You can build it up to get a fuller coverage, but normally for foundation for like BB cream, I just put one layer. Try to cover up any imperfections with concealer and if it still peeps through, then I don't care. This is Tropic Heat Eye Marker in the number three. And this is, maybe I should just do it on my eye right now. Okay, obviously not the best application, but it is blue. Water Eyeshadow in number 219. Okay, and you can use this as a highlighter, you can use this as an eyeshadow. Let me show you what it looks like as an eyeshadow. Oh, I'll do it on the other eye. Can you see it? High pigment, and this one you can use as wet or dry, um, in number 16. This is also from Kiko. So I've been recently more into like multi-use products. Um, for example, for my cheeks nowadays, I prefer cream products. Sometimes I'll be lazy and I'll just put it on my as eyeshadow too. So this is Stick for Lips and Cheeks in the number 6. Look, look at this. Magnetic. Okay. I'll put it on my lips. Hello. The rest of the stuff that I bought is in here. And this is a bag that came with the brand Bourjois. The first thing I got from them is Healthy Mix Foundation in... Good question. I think number 54 beige. This one's also really nice. I also wore this for a day and I really enjoyed it. I don't know if you can tell. I got the liner style in brown. Two Radiance Reveal concealers in the color 2 beige. This is 2 beige for my under eyes. And then number 3 dark beige for everywhere else. This is from Collection Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer in the color three more medium. So this is like for everywhere else and not necessarily um, under eyes. Bourjois, the Healthy Balance Unifying Powder. It has a color. It's 53 Beige Clair. Um, yeah. And then I got this from the brand Muwa Skin Define Hydro Powder with vitamin E and hojoba. This is a super lightweight setting powder infused with vitamin E and hojoba for a soft, nourishing, and natural finish. And the last two things I got, this is from the brand Berry M. This is the illuminating strobe cream. This is in number three, baked, and number four, galactic. I'll show you the color. So this is baked. And then this is in the color Galactic. This is what it looks like. Oh, I see the purple. <laughs> Can you see that? And because I got one three items from Bourjois, they gave me this bag for free. And that is it for my London haul. Talk to you guys later. Oh my god, wait. I totally forgot about these things. I was at Tesco and I tried their couscous. I bought this much couscous to come back home. And then my friend was eating this Angel Delight. I think it's kind of like um, Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Um, so I'm excited to just have fun and eat that. Now we're going to go on a break and I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> my name is Juliet. Juliet. With, With a, a nugget, nugget of chua. Of chua.